Welcome to the part 9 of this tutorial series. This will be a short one where we will be seeing how we can fetch data from the database and display it uh, in our admin panel all post section. So uh, I created this to do a statement here that says the form validation is still pending in the back end and I have done some HTML formatting so that my backend now looks like this. I've uh, created this H1 tag, and if you go to all posts, everything is centered in this nice diff. So this is for the index part. I have wrapped the H1 in a container div, and uh, and for the post index, I have created a container div inside that I've created another div that has the classes alert alert secondary and text center inside that I have this all post h1 tag it's not not something complicated you can do it easily okay and also what I'll do I'll create a table here just below the div and, and in, the, in this table I want to display my data okay my post data that I'll fetch from the post uh, collection okay I'll first give some classes table table bordered then table maybe let's stick to table border as of now then we have a head section so inside that we'll have few columns and the name will be my ID of the post then I'll have the title then the description and allow comments okay so with this if I save go back I'll have the table here also I need the ta uh, table body T body section here with TR and TDs so I'll put some dummy data as if now first post not our post created here and okay so I, I want my table column head to have a class of background dark and my body is okay and also this these TRs should have a class of text white I believe also text center okay text center will be used here as well in the body uh, section okay so I can see my dummy data here but now I want to fetch it from the uh, database okay so I'll go back to my admin controller in this get post route I have the post model already imported here so I'll do I'll use this post model this post object here and I'll use the find method so this is a method given to us by by the mongoose uh, package and the find method gives returns everything that is present in this post collection okay this gives this returns in a promise and will give us all the posts if it's successful and what we want we want to send the post data while we render the index page so I'll send it as an object and we'll send the posts okay now we have to loop through all these posts in our index file here so we are getting the post data here somewhere okay which we cannot see but it's there so I have to loop through the uh, data so I'll use 
a helper function that is a each and I'll get I'm getting the post so it will loop through each of the posts and it'll create different rows so what I want here I want the uh, ID because I believe it has an ID also uh, let me check I don't have it I have the ID here but in MongoDB in MongoDB it has this underscore ID column okay I'll go back here and close the messages and we bar file here it will be underscore ID the title should be title and the description should be description and this should be allow comments so if I go back database uh, allow comment is not there right okay or let's say status status okay save it refresh okay cool now we have the IDs and this corresponds to what we have in the database so we have the first post ending with 6e cd5 6e cd5 title of the post description of the post and the status so if I go back to the database and let's say change the title here to first post description is this is the first post created let's keep the version as it is and let's make it as private okay update it and go back to the uh, front end or back end rather and refresh this page so see it is fetching the data from the database successfully so this was about it for this part it was pretty short but we saw how we can fetch the data using the uh, post model here and send the data to our view which is here and loop through each of the posts okay i hope you learned a bit and i'll see you in the next chapter thank you bye bye